Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3F in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Irene, she's got a group of counters, and it can actually represent two different fractions. So we'll start with the easiest fraction first, and let's make sure we get our terms down. So our numerator is going to be our top number, and that is the number of, and in this case we're looking at black counters, so we'll say the number of black counters, and then our denominator is our bottom number. And so let's just put a little fraction bar there. It equals always the total. The numerator changes based on what you're trying to count. The denominator is always going to be the total. So let's just count them out here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here's my fraction. I've got two black counters out of eight total. So it represents two eighths, and we're looking at fractions of a set because these are eight separate counters. If I wanted to make that look like a fraction of a whole, I could do this. So here's my eighths, and I can say here's two eighths, but we're looking at fraction of a set. So we've got this two sixths and two eighths. Well, this works right here. I could tell you that this two sixths doesn't work. I know what they did here. Common mistake is to make this two. That makes sense because there's two black ones. But a common mistake is to make this six into the number of leftover pieces. In this case, it'd be the white pieces. And that is our mistake because your denominator is not the number of leftover pieces or the number of white pieces in this case, it's the total, and it's always the total. So A is not going to work for us. B is not going to work for us simply because we're doing the same thing with the two six. Our numerator is fine, our denominator is picking up the leftover pieces. Remember, your denominator is always going to be the total, including what you've already counted for the numerator. So you end up counting those ones twice, once for the numerator, once for the denominator. And then we've got one-third. Well, here is one-third. If we want to look at a fraction of a whole, all right, we're going to take three equal pieces. So the problem with this is I can't divide this eight into three equal pieces. If it were nine, maybe. But if we're looking at multiples of three, we've got three, we've got six, we've got nine. Eight doesn't show up any, anywhere. So I can't take my eight and break it up into three equal pieces. So it's going to not work for both of those reasons. So look at C. I've got my two eighths, so this is good, just like A. But look at this one-fourth. How can I break this up, if C is the correct answer, into four equal pieces? And hopefully you're looking up and down. So take a look at this. One, two, three, four. So I've got four equal pieces. Now, each of my pieces happens to have two counters in them, but I've got four equal sets of two. And how many of those sets of two has the black counters? And actually, it's just this one right here. Boom. So I've got four equal pieces, and only one of them has the, blue count the black counters in there. So there's my one-fourth. So that looks good as well. If you look at D... The one-fourth looks good, we just proved that, but then the two-fourths doesn't make sense. You can't have the same denominator and have different numerators and that be represented by the same fraction. You can't have one piece and two pieces, both at the same time. So my answer is going to be C. This represents both one-fourth and two-eighths at the same time. Those are equivalent fractions.